This mini lecture provides some examples of calculations of line integrals. Reviewing some of the tricks for calculating line integrals from the previous mini lecture. When convenient, convert to one integration variable. When convenient, divide up the path into simpler integrals. We'll save the last trick until the next mini lecture. For an example, we assume a fairly complicated force which depends upon position. We want to find the work done along each of the four paths from 0, 0 to 2, 1. Take the uh, distance in terms of meters in order to make the product of force times distance joules. Path 1 is a straight line from 0, 0 to 2, 1. Path 2 is a parabola. Path 3 is to break the path up into two steps. And path 4 is a parametric relationship between x and y in which x and y are both related to t. Common approach to all the paths is first to inspect the problem and make a sketch. We've just had a sketch so we're not going to make a new one. Look for simplifications. For example, sometimes the dot product is just zero. B, do the dot product, that is, write it out. In this case, our force was xyi minus y squared j. And our path in Cartesian coordinates is always dxi plus dyj. The relationship between dx and dy will be determined by the path that we choose. Then we complete the dot product. The work integral is still complicated by the fact. Then we complete the dot product. Carrying it through, f dot ds is xy dx minus y squared dy. And the work is the integral from the start point to finish point. The work integral is still complicated by the fact that x and y are related to one another for any given path, and the limits of the integral have both x and y because we don't yet know the relationship between x and y for the path that we're going over. What we want to do now is get each integral into a single variable. What we'll do is make variable substitutions, and then we'll be able to carry out one variable integrations. For the straight line case, the substitutions of y equals x over 2 and dy is equal to dx over 2 are straightforward. We choose to connect everything to the variable x and the limits are now just in x. Since you already are already mavens at computing single variable integrals, we're done. The answer in this case, the work is 1 joule. On the previous slide, we chose to do the integral in x, but we could have broken the integral into two parts and done them separately, one in x and one in y. The result is the same. We could also have chosen to convert everything into y, and the result would have been the same again. Now for a slightly more complicated parabolic path. We have y is equal to x squared over 4. Taking the derivative with respect to x, we find that dy is equal to 1 half x dx. We make the substitutions and end up with two integrals. We chose here to convert everything into x. And at this point, we've got single variable integral, single variable limits, x equals 0 to x equal 2. And you guys already know how to do all of this. The integral over this path is 2 thirds joules. Third example is to break the line integral up into two legs. For the third example, we'll do the line integral for the case where the path is broken up into two stages. For the first leg, x is equal to 0. 
and y varies from 0 to 1. So when we look at what the variables are, d, uh, x is equal to 0. dx, because there's no variation in x, must be equal to 0. And dy is just dy. I can't make a substitution there between x and y. So for the first leg, I would be going from 0, 0 to 0, 1. And the entire integral looks like this. But we keep in mind that x is equal to 0 over the entire path. And dx is equal to 0. So the first integral over here becomes 0 because x is 0 and dx is equal to 0. That's sort of a double 0 there. The second integral, this one here, is an integral in y. And the limits just go from 0 to 1 in y. And we can do that integration. Now we worry about the second stage in the path. For the second leg, y is equal to 1 and x goes from 0 to 2. So y is equal to 1 because y doesn't change, dy is 0, and dx is just dx. I can't relate dx to dy because dy is equal to 0. That's the full integral with x and y. We can start by making our substitutions. y is equal to 1. That simplifies this to x dx. And over here, y is equal to 1, but dy is equal to 0. So this integration is 0. That integral can be done. So the sum of the two legs, this one plus this one, turns out then to be plus 5 thirds joules. Instead of using either x or y as the integration variable, we could have a relationship be between x and some third variable t and y and some third variable t. That's called a parametric relationship. For example, we could choose the path x of t is equal to 2t cubed and y of t is equal to t squared. That starts and ends, that parametric relationship starts and ends on the same points as uh, we had previously for x and y, 0, 0, and 2, 1, or can start and out at those points. So dx is 6t squared dt, and dy is 2t dt. There's our uh, dot product integral that we start with, and now the integration is entirely in t. I have an extra dt there. I apologize. What about the limits? The initial position satisfies t needs to satisfy 0, 0. t equals 0 satisfies that case. And for the final position, t final equals 1 satisfies the case of x equal to y is equal to 1. The work then turns out to be 7 sixths.